All right, welcome back everyone to episode five of John and Eric on their adventures into destroying the evil, corrupting Skyrim. So it is now the morning, it's around 9.30 a.m. Uh, we slept the night. I went and fixed a little bit of a bug that apparently we ended up killing the wrong animal at Green Spring Hollow. Um, took care of that there, it really wasn't exceptionally exciting. But so now we are packing up and over encumbered. Just feels right somehow. Of course. And we are going to be going into town to find some new work. Eric's over encumbered. Okay. All right, this, these are all the pelts that we had picked up before. Right? So hopefully we can give. No, that's still. We might have to carry the tent out in front of us as an item after we drop it on the, uh, the ground. So that is looking like what we are going to have to do. This isn't a big problem. If there's any way, I can be of some. Let us. Uh, oh, we only had 18 minutes on the fire. Left. We'll put out the fire. We're probably gonna get some scrap wood out of it. No unspent fuel left left to reclaim. Oh, wait a minute. We, now that we have a horse, we have the ability to put all of our other stuff directly on the horse here. So, the... We're, so I'm probably looking straight at it. Yeah, there it is. All of these other things, we can just stock them right on the horse. Um, all the extra firewood that we have to deal with. Is there anything else that we really want to drop off? I don't think so. We can ride right up to the gate, save us a little bit of time. Bung Hal, welcome. Oh, it's nice having a horse. I also figured out how to get Eric to not magically summon his own horse, so he's, he's gonna have to run behind us for now. He'll catch up, right? We're not going anywhere super crazy. While we're driving, uh, driving, riding on the road, we are going to be a lot more careful. We're not going to be sprinting forward ahead of him. And we'll just kind of cruise cruise along, right? Chat, we'll skip forward to the parts that are really important and exciting. So let's see, Eric. Should we process all of the pelts that we have or sell them? I think we're going to save them for smithing XP. And we'll store them right in our happy little barrel here. Right. Staff of Firebolts. I think we'll save for now. At some point, I'm going to learn how to use this fishing rod. But all of the different uh, food items we have there. These. We're going to take all of these. We're going to sell all but one of them. And then we're going to give that to you, Salt. We're just going to assume that we heard a rumor that she's looking for a... Uh, First the mammoth tusk. Miss, I'm at your service. Let's see. So Eric doesn't like war axe. That's okay. Uh, yeah, we forgot to sell these too, so that'll lighten Eric up, lighten Eric's load a little bit. Maybe we should put all of our alchemy ingredients directly on our boats. That might be a good idea. Let's get going then. There you go, Eric. That should help a little bit. Is there anything we can break down in our inventory really quickly? No. What we'll do is we'll, we'll wiggle over here and we're going to produce all of these pelts into leather. Her plates aren't super valuable. I mean, some of these, at, le at the very least, we'll process the poor quality pelts, right? But... Goat pelts, what are some of the things that we can process with pelts? We can have the smithing. So some of these pelts I know that we can actually turn into things. So we'll keep the goat ones, because I know those are required. The wolf ones, keep two. But the deer and the troll, I don't think the troll pelt. So we are just going to process that. And all the deer. Later, these can be turned into leather strips. Uh, 
and that'll be a big step into uh, what's the word leveling up our smithing right because that's it's a long-term goal Let's see. we could definitely use some more beef stew two of them is probably fine right two beef stew two mammoth tomato stew other miscellaneous items that we have I am really an apprentice. Oh no, she's the apprentice. I what can think I Take a look. We should be able to sell our mammoth tusk. Nope. Alright then. Alright, we're gonna use our our little trick here, right? I'm gonna drop Oh no. Okay, so we'll carry one. Which and we're still over encumbered with all of those. Why are we still over encumbered? What's uh, what's holding us up? Maybe all of the ingredients. Oh, oh, those the uh, all these freaking steel chest plates that we have that we definitely no longer need, damage. right? And this thing, oh, picking it up for 450 gold that we found last time, right? Most excellent. We can probably sell this ring too, and these. Well, that's a step in the right direction. We'll sell this too. It's, I mean, it's nice, but it's not as good as what Eric already has. I'd like to have a, just a few more silver arrows on us, just in case we uh, come across any of them. So, be that added like one more weight, but bring your data mammoth tusk. How are we doing on arrows? Orcish, we have 18 or Orcish arrows. I think we're all set. Anything else in here that's like fantastic scaled helmet of conjuration. Yeah. All right, that's looking pretty good. Don't we move now. We are. Yeah, we will be able to. Right. Once we drop these, we will be able to. Move. Okay. Pick that back up. Careful with that. No, we're not going to be careful. We are reckless and free. I don't think I'm gonna be able to find Ysolda very easily, but I don't know, maybe I'll get lucky. Oh, oh, a chicken. My what tusks. Are you doing that for? So here's the missive board. This is, oh, it hasn't reset yet. Hmm. Oh, it has, okay, it has reset. I see three different things for Rorik's dead. So we're definitely going to do three Rorik's Dead quests here, right? Very nice. So we'll pick all of those up. And I think we're just going to have to sell these right into the general store here, because I don't know who else we could sell them to. All oh, the pumpkins. For the, um, I don't know what the, the Halloween event is called. Welcome to general goods. Welcome <clears throat> Almost time for it. Oh, uh, so I'm like covered in blood. Probably should have fixed that before we went selling a bunch of stuff. Oh well. What can you do? Right? Is there any place I can just uh, store these out here? Right? I'm gonna stick them right here. I don't... I don't have the time or the patience to be running around. Careful with that. Although, so we're just gonna put them right there. We might not head to Solitude. We're at, we have to turn in Ayla's quest for, um... Oh my god, I just completely blanked on why we came in here. Uh, bathing. I like, what was the reason we came Hello, in here? Hello, friend. Thank you. And gold for the this bathroom. For you. Be right here. I don't think I've ever used this one in Whiterun, surprisingly. Oh, well, why it's never, uh. never been a priority, I guess. So, Magicka regen, yeah, all the regens. Plain. I think we'll do just the two lavender, right? So, let's see. These are. I was gonna say, what, Eric? You don't wanna. 
Don't want to join me in the bath here? He's slightly less covered in blood, so... I don't know how much extra gold we'll end up getting out of this, but... It's probably worth it, in my opinion, right? I mean, it, it gives us increased Magicka resistance, so that alone is probably worth it. I'll have to make sure our lantern is still working, though. I also noticed that my health is low, so we'll have to stop by Priest of Arcay and get that fixed, right? Let's see. That's way better. Still thirsty, so I'll fix that right now when we pass the store. Oh, I should uh, go in here and so Nazim, Durin, and so it was nobody in there, right? So we have to go into the potions. We have to go into your Vasker anyway. Oh no, no, that was um. You have to talk to her. All right. So let's start with here. I think we have to sell a few of our extra potions anyway. Probably sell a few uh, gems too. Smaller gems that we don't care about. Job. Of course. I am job. What do you have for sale? Take a look. And we will. So we won't. We could. Wow, we could sell it back to her for 200 gold. We'd get more money selling this back to her than we would for completing the mission but she would like us less so we won't do that um old blood eh don't need that bunch of cabbage i guess we'll sell all of our cabbage <laughs> all the ingredients we have this superlative bone i don't know what you do with superlative bones honestly Oh, she'll buy all of our mammoth tusks. That's perfect. Be careful out there. That is really perfect because we'll probably get a lot better deal selling them to her than we will from Smellathor. So, oh, I'm at exactly the correct carry weight. What did I get rid of that was bring me? Unless something Good weird happened. You. With, uh, oh, so you're an alchemist then. All these, right? No. So we'll do one at a time. Nothing weird happened. Take care. What do you need? Ah, so you're an alchemist then. And we'll keep one. Nice. Oh, oh, we're so close. Eight. We're so close to level eight. Does she want to buy any of our gems? Pardon me. Really quickly. Oh, so you're an alchemist then. Um, we could sell the hair dots. Nah, they're so light. We'll we'll just hold on to them. Farewell. The other thing that we will do is here. I'm I'm gonna pass through this door to quickly save because I can't remember when you carve bones of like engraved bones these heavy bones kinnereth does do, do we want stamina or health i'm trying to think of which one would be better and i really think doing stamina would would honestly be better so and i think that's her scene. i know julianos is um for magic i think her scenes Better at running. There is one thing I recently discovered, which is that this person back right here Take a look. sells um like corker stew and stuff like this. So I thought that was pretty cool. She doesn't have oh well, I guess she does have raw horker meat. And I really wish that we could purchase the items right here, but they're only marked as steel, so that's kind of disappointing. Well, what can you do, right? Oh, no, 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 we wanted... 
Oh, is is that the um the Smith's assistant? Who is she? It. it no, no. Oh. Oh, it's Hello, Adrian. Friend. Was I just not paying attention? Of course. Good luck out there. And who is the other person? Nazim. Of course, Nazim. It's up in the cloud district. Where else would he be, right? While we're still at this level, we should see if we can throw a few uh, training levels into something. something. We might do marksman. It would be nice to do heavy armor or a uh, block. Block would be very valuable. We could do smithing. Oh. I'm not taking it too seriously, but it seemed like we had a little speed boost there. It was kind of nice. Do you have any extra yes, um, what you see here. food buffs? Oh, he does. Interesting. Buy one of those, too. All right. Burger Stew's good stuff. It's a shame. She it's is a, a healing trainer. But to do that quest, you have to take a couple fireballs to the face, and that is not something we are ready for yet. Like, it is really bad. Agravens, man. Rip your face off. Hey, there she is. I've heard you may actually be stronger than you look. Yep, we killed the beast. Not bad. Not bad. The intensity of the hunt is special, isn't it? Gunner gold. Hey, nice, okay. Uh, how much I'll is training? What I know. That ended up being probably like 1,500 gold. I don't know if I want to throw 1,500 gold at that right now. Uh, I'm looking a for work. A Falkreath has asked for our Falkreath. Help. It seems that a predator has invaded their home, and okay. someone needs to clear the beast out. Maybe. How about you? you? Still need to the idiots in Falkyrie still think the best place for prisoners is that hole in the ground. No surprise, but one of them's gotten out again. At this point, they don't care what happens to him, and neither do I. Best to just kill him and be done with it. I don't think I've ever done a quest like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, what else we got? Um, where are the other guys training? I'm interested to see what bandit camp we could take on, but if it's Silent Moon's camp or Valheim Towers, I'll end up reloading because it's it's so frustrating that you can't check like what Skiller bandit camp it is. That I have this There's some trouble at Falkreath. There's always some kind of trouble down there. Nothing kind. but a bunch of lonely bandits, cowards. I'm willing to take little effort. Try. What do you think? What, what do y'all think? Are we gonna try? I say we try Good. it. Do not spare them your blade. Knife Point Ridge. Where's that located? Oh, hold on. Um, there it is. How difficult is Knife Point Ridge? I don't know, but we're gonna find out. Famous last words, right? All right, so we'll find Nazim. Grab his delivery. Ah. Head back to Rorkstead. Drop off some of our uh, happy deliveries. And we'll go do some combat. That sounds fantastic. One of the problems with having a follower like Eric is that you actually get less XP. So... Kind of a downside. Alright, where is he? Where's the boot looker? There he is. Is it absolutely necessary for you to bother me right now? Yeah, what, what do you want? 75 gold. Right, I really am busy, so... Are there any other, Good um... Could buy a house if we got Are enough gold, but... We won't bother the Jarl. Ain't nobody got time for that. Here's what we will do. We will... 
Uh, I don't think we're going to activate that just because we it lasts for an hour, which is great. But we have a horse now, so we're not sprinting all you know everywhere that we go. Instead, we can just ride our horse. So I'd rather use it more strategically, like for combat, when we know that we're going to be in combat. We're gonna get our, our quick little heal down here. What's our active buffs right now? Blessing of RK. Uh, we still have an hour on that, which is surprising. Right? Where is he? You're Do not you get in. to the cloud district often? We Zimbos. all come into Arcade's life as the answer, but there's no need to rush. Where's the priest? Oi! Ah. Okay. That's interesting. I guess we'll just have to use one of our healing potions. That's fine. Probably could have made a healing poultice or bought one or something, but... I say we move all of our items into our horse. What's what's the hotkey for horse? In? It's um you. Can we reach our horse from here? No. No, okay, it won't let us. Either way, we're going to grab everything out of the companions here and we're going to start storing it on our horse. We're going to be 100% mobile. Right? So that way cuz we have our own tent we can collect all of our own firewood. Might as well just keep all of our operations mobile at this point. A bit more. It might be more difficult because we'll, we might run out of space on the horse. But we'll see how bad that gets, right? We'll grab all of our ingredients. It's interesting that ingredients don't go bad. That would be just so painful and ridiculous to manage an element of the game like that. But, Eric! Eric! No! So far away! Oh, act the so the way that you get him to, to run over to you is you take out your It just weapon. feels right somehow. Of course. What do we got? What do we got? What's our, our heavy things? Oh, we still have to drop this off. Random iron ingot that I want to carry. And we'll have him carry these two. Right? We can give him one more thing. Uh, all the skooma? No, we'll... Well, all right, Eric, here's all the skooma. Don't eat it. <laughs> Let me know if there's anything else you need. Oh, I guess you don't eat skooma, but... What's the chance that we are definitely not going to find Ysolda to give her the, uh, the item that she's looking for? We'll try. Right, well, let's stop by her house. That's probably a good start. That wasn't her. Maybe she's in the marketplace. Looking for my husband, Nazim? Check the Yarl's back. She, if I remember correctly, she lives here. This is her house. I went home? Right. I have no idea where she would be. Maybe at the inn? We'll check the inn really quickly. And if she isn't there, we'll head out. If she wasn't on the porch. I'm worried that I'm gonna like run right by her and, and just completely oblivious because I don't remember what she looks like. Huh. 
Yeah, I don't see her. Oh well. We out. Adventure time. Finish our happy little deliveries. Oh, yeah, see, I, I knew I was gonna be like, I don't, I wouldn't even recognize her. Just wanna become a merchant. I told him that one day, I'd become the best trader in Skyrim. I met one of the caravan leaders, Madron. He said he'd help me get started if I could bring him a mammoth's tusk. Maybe I can help you. If you find one, I could teach you a thing or two about trading. Well, here it is. This should turn that old cat's gaze. As promised, let me show you a thing or two about bargaining. Don't want some shifty merchant giving nice. you a raw trade. Hey, level 30. And, and, we got a level up out of it. What are we going to throw that into? Heavy armor might be nice. Block will definitely be worth it. We could start specializing into our respective uh, two-handed trees. However, I think it is going to be in just increasing block ability, right? 40% more effective at blocking. Um, shield can deflect arrows. What about Marksman here? 20% um, more damage. Not bad. Lock picking the next trade is at 40, I believe. Yeah, 45. Eh. Could do more for Speechcraft here. 10% with the opposite gender. gender. Three times more intimidating. You know what we're going to do? We're going to throw it into alchemy because then we can learn all of the traits of the ingredients we have. We're going to do that right now. We're just going to go down the line. Ah. Those of you who don't know, Canis Root is super poisonous. This is my favorite part of every character. Is just gorging yourself on incredibly suspicious and dangerous ingredients. River Betty? That's where we're at, yeah. There we go. Well, at least we. <laughs> These snozberries taste like snozberries. <laughs> Man. Why is everybody glowing? Oh, here, let's practice using a, the U key, right? I really need to practice here. Drop everything off. So many ingredients. We need more wheat, though. Probably more uh, blue flowers, too. All right, what else? What else can we drop off? The... Couple of translation tomes. I'm tempted to take a lot of our other uh, smithing equipment, but we're just gonna leave. Oh, got an extra cloak to sell, but that's okay. Hand in my pocket. I'm going to cut it off. Okay, okay. What was that? Oh, it was one of our many, many traits over here. Wearing off, probably. Oh, everything's so bright. Probably because I have a... Uh, night vision on as one of the traits. Alright, so we are going to ride over to Rorikstead. And we're probably not going to expect anything crazy, but we'll, uh, we'll switch over to that if we do. So I'll see you in Rorikstead. I have to be careful of that. Oh, oh, we see a bear up there. And, and Eric's... Oh, oh, and there's a freaking saber cat down there, so we'll ignore the bear. Take on the saber cat.
Damn. Didn't even know what hit him. I think I think we are gonna skin the saber cat. We need a, a a little bit more XP in this, right? So I'm tired, feeling peckish. It's 3 p.m. We'll get through this and then we'll stay the night in Rorikstead. Saber cap help, nice. Let's see, out of all of that, here we'll we'll learn all of these. Just eat your fresh kill. Ooh. All right. Excellent. Oh, there we go. Moving right along. One less saber cat in the world trying to eat everybody's face, which is a definite improvement. Start by selling all of the the ridiculous stuff in our Oh, he's uh he's closed. Okay. I guess that means we'll just have to finish by or or work and make all of our deliveries. There you go. So I have a letter. What's this? Oh, <laughs> wow, he's a popular person. I didn't realize they were to the same person. Farewell. What's the final, th oh, uh, final thing we're looking at to? He's over there. Our happy little horse. I'm so I'm riding my horse around just so we don't lose it. Might seem silly, but ah. was he? Where is he? This way. Yeah. Riding my horse, trampling his crops. Here I have. I have a, a new weapon for you. Thank you. Here, this is for you. Yeah. So, we need the camping XP, and it's a beautiful day, so we are going to sleep outside. It's too, it's too bad that we can't buy any of the, the horses here. I mean, we probably could. I think uh, camping right here is perfect. We'll say that during this time, Eric's catching back up with his father, right? Checking in. Oh, uh, do you really have to be that close? I guess so. Anything else that we really need to drop off that isn't worth having on us? Um, I don't, I still don't know what we're going to do with that. We're going to do with that. Hmm. Nope, oh, it's looking good. Oh, uh, except for the fact that we need our tent. Okay. Could also use some more wood. Also gonna grab that. Badge, full tent. Oh, we're in town. I can't place it here. Oh, okay. Hold on. Yeah, this is considered a settled area. We can't do it here. Hmm. I was not expecting that, obviously. I guess we should head south of town and um, 
be down there, d down near the store, right? It would be nice if there was some wood that we can buy somewhere. Eric has our, our wood cutting axe. I don't even know where Eric is. He's somewhere. Somewhere in town. But it looks like we'll have to tent right out here. Um, do either of you sell wood? Yes. Uh. Mm -hmm. Well met. Mm, no. Goodbye. Worth a try, though. Always worth a try. How about right here? Yeah, I guess this could work. I I can't tell at all. It's so dark. Hey, there's Eric. That looks about okay. Here, and the other thing we'll do is drop the wolf. Let's get that. Right now. Ingredients. <laughs> ah, thank you, Eric. Skin the pelt just because. And we don't need any of the meat. Got a ruined pelt, excellent. <laughs> and we'll just sell it to get rid of it. How are we for, yeah, new ingredients. There we go, we'll just eat them. Oh, this is night vision. Oh, it's working really well. Wow, night vision looks fantastic. Oh, it was like... Excellent, so we'll sleep into the next day. Uh, no. Oh, we have a snack before we go to sleep though, right? Well, nah, we'll, we'll have stuff for breakfast. We'll drink, we'll drink our water, do that. We're gonna, we're gonna skip dinner, wake up bright and early, and we're gonna head down to Falkreath, kill some bandits. Oof. I am ravenously hungry. So now what we can do is we'll do our uh, orker and ash yam stew, and then our beef stew. And we're still a little bit hungry. The hungry, hungry caterpillar, huh? All right, we'll do our uh, cooked rabbit legs. Excellent, well fed. Whoop. How are we doing on our buffs? That looks great. We have 30 minutes on the beef stew. Oh, maybe we shouldn't have had the beef stew. I thought it was one hour. Beef stew's only 30 minutes. That's okay. All right, it's a miserable day, but that's what it takes to adventure. Sometimes you have to go on miserable days. So we are going to continue south into Falkreath, Knife Point Ridge, and take them on, and hopefully not die. See you all there. Somebody chopping wood. That might be Mike the Liar. Whoa! Whoa! It's an old orc! I am waiting. Chazgob. Death. Good death? Yes. Oh! To simply lay down We're under attack! Not <laughs> old orc! Oh! Ah, oh, crap. What's our health at? 
Oh, okay, okay. Ooh, we're gonna use our great one here. Oh my god, we're stunned. We're stunned. We're on the ground, we're stunned. Oh, we can't see anything. Ooh. Eric, you okay? Holy crap, man. Oh. He's poisoned, though. Hold on, Eric, I got you. Put these on, though. Take a couple of things off. There you go. I'll help a little bit. At least with the, the health problems, right? Goodness. Well, at least it's a little bit brighter, too. Anything on it? Hey, you got an Orcajero. Always remember to F5. I feel like my FPS isn't doing too good, even though the, uh... My GPU's fine. Valkyrie! Welcome to Falk. What we'll do is we're just gonna drop off our animals here. Saber cat, wolf carcass. Um, right here on the side of the road. No! No! Ah! The trees look beautiful here. Eric, don't even start with me right now, okay? Don't even start. Uh, well, I'm summoning a new one. We brought it all the way here. Player add item. Uh, three ten one zero B nine two one. Come on, man. The hell was that? The hell was that? My saber cap falling through the floor, falling through the ground. All right, we're gonna sell a few of our miscellaneous items. Try not to judge Falkreath too harshly, visitor. The war has been hard on us. Okay. Guess that seems fair, right? Uh, have a wonderful day. Right. Thank you very I'm much sure for stopping in. You're looking for. If not, let me know. I might have well met. Unlike my trinkets, odds, and yeah, yeah. What do you, what do you got? Need to sell all of my uh, miscellaneous junk here. Oh, we'll keep this. This is really good for, um, uh, like, for knockdowns, essentially. It's a paralyzed for two seconds. Really valuable. Um, anything else we can really get rid of? We'll just do those. Um, I guess we'll keep the kindling, right? I don't know what we're going to do with all of these bones. Steal anything from my shop and you'll regret it. It just feels right, son. Eric, do you have any sure weird junk that we need to get rid of here? We have our pick in the poacher's axe, though. And then this thing, which is amazing, and I don't know what to do with it yet. Uh, and then you have all of our large bones, too. Okay. If there's any way, at first okay. I thought I'd miss spawning. Eric, you're embedded in the door. <laughs>
we'll, we'll explore here next time. Right now, we have some, uh... We have a camp to clear. Okay, okay. okay. Then, uh, oh yeah, here was the little like roundabout thing, right? That cut different directions, okay. Oh, what's that? Whoa, it's a spriggin! It's spriggins! Spriggins! Run! Run, rabbit! We are not qualified to take that on! Oh, is Holy shit! Eric, holy shit! Ah, uh, okay. Uh, what do we do? Oh, she's gonna kill my horse. I don't know what to do. That was ridiculous. Who taproot? Okay. Eric's back to full health. We just saved, which was pretty good. And we're almost exactly 80 health short. But we don't have any lesser healing potions, so. Oh, um. What I should just do. Silly me is the healing aura. All right, so we are we are back. Amazingly, we are back despite traveling down the wrong road, getting attacked by a freaking spriggan on the way here. We have managed to do it. We are here at Knife Point Ridge. So, now we can finally go up in there and take them on. So we're gonna double check all of our active buffs, which I, I am pretty sure that we ran out of our beef stew, we did. We have about 19 minutes on the Horker stew, so we'll keep that. But we will do our beef stew. That will bring us Where we want to be? What is this peckish? Uh, let's... Do we do we have any small food items? Really? That's too bad. Oh, well. I don't believe they have any lookouts here, but you can see kind of their, their wooden palisade up there. So. Uh. Oh, they think they see us. They think they see us. All right, Eric, be quiet. Very quiet. We'll switch to the bow. And we have our healing arrows up too, both of us. Oh, he came all the way down to check. Oh, he missed. Nice. That could have been really bad. Also, oh, look, he brought us, uh, he brought us lunch. Yeah, we'll take these two. 
kind of him. Here, are we out of combat? No, we are definitely in combat. Why won't you die? Oh, all right, come on. Yeah, he's out of stamina. Get him, Eric! Oh, okay. I got him. We're gonna loot as we go. Uh, this might be a little bit heavy on us, but... Oh, we should be okay. Whoa! This... Oh, okay. I thought this guy was level 40. Oh my god. Look at his shield! Ah! Get him off me! Come on, come on. Ah, walked right into that one. I don't know what that potion was he took, but damn. Oh, somebody has a crossbow. Where? I don't see him. Where are they? I hear the crossbow, but I don't see him. Take this guy out now. Oh, that's the skooma. Oh. Eric, where are they? They have a crossbow. Ah. We'll see what this person has really quickly. Um, oh, it's a lot of really good stuff. I want to make sure that we actually pick it all up. So we're throwing down all of our iron stuff. Yeah, I know, we're doing it in the middle of combat, but... And we're picking up... Oh, we're giving this to Eric. Look at that. Orcish boots, too. We are immediately over-encumbered. Quick, quick, give something up. Anything made out of iron. There we go. Eric, who are we under attack by? Uh, okay. Eric, you okay down there? I'll come back up for them. We have to clear the camp. Oh, quick! Whoa! No! Ah! Whoa, watch out, Eric! I thought they were a mage. Looks like it was just a scroll. Oh. Where'd they go? I lost them. Is that them? Oh, yeah, nice. Whew. All right. We're gonna quickly run through. I don't think that was everyone. I didn't see a quest update. Showing that the camp was cleared. Oh! Oh, 
see you, man. <sighs> nice, Eric. That was good. <laughs> Anybody else on the outside? I don't think so. Ooh. Yeah, we'll take those. <sighs> Alright, we're gonna head inside. We're gonna finish this up. That, that's, that's the fight? That's the boss fight? Well. I admit I'm a little bit disappointed. So it looks like we have plenty of different mushrooms that we're gonna be able to take as we're going through here. There. Not too much, right? Nothing down here. So now, now for the real loot. Let's see what we get. Ooh, okay. Different things we can disenchant. Gold ruby rings, potions, gold. A, sh a what is that? A, a sharp rock? A sharp rock? Um, some thread? Okay, so, so that's not super incredible. Nothing super crazy in there. What we did manage to do is take out all the bandits here. We have all of these mushrooms and we have a brand new, absolutely fantastic Nordic shield that we are going to be handing to Eric that he is going to be able to take advantage of. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go back through, I'm gonna take care of RK's rights, I'm gonna loot the entire camp. That'll be that. I'll. Uh, We'll probably start back up after I've taken care of looting everything so you can just kind of see the entire hall that we have for today. And uh, that'll be the end of our stream. So thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful day.